Well, now we just gotta get to level 42 so that we have uh, Dragon Claw, and then our moveset will actually be decent. Ninja's best weapon is Reverse Harem Jutsu. Hate that. Hate that a lot. One Piece Dude also does the Meteor move? Well, in that case, you can just become all-powerful by being both a ninja and a pirate. Imagine being a ninja pirate. Unstoppable. I should go buy the Ice Beam TM2. Bye, Golbat. My bird is almost level 46. I did a lot to conceal myself, too. You say that like there aren't ninja pirates in One Piece? I bet they're lame, and also, I don't watch One Piece. There we go. Why does the strength rock look so weird in this game? I mean, everything looks weird in this game because this chibi art style is abysmal, but still. Oh, hey, guess who still doesn't have Defog? Me. Stardust. Waste of time. I don't remember what item is down there, but I've decided I don't care. I just want to get out of the fog. What was the purpose in having fog in that room? There was none. Regirock, let me in! Let me in, Regirock! Regirock, let me in! Or Reggie Ice? I don't remember which one is here. Reggie Steel is on the Iron Island. Hey! I love this route music. This route music is very good. I'm an ace, I can see that you're an ace too. Hey, Michael, what's up? I thought Reg Ice would be there. I know, right? If only this remake was based on, like, the good guy. Yo, I love Ambi Palm. Shout out to my boy. I should probably stop leading with my goodbye now that we're in the ice area. Oh, you have Dual Chop for some reason. That's interesting. I hate you. Why on earth does this thing learn a Dragon-type move? All right, well, no more training Gabite up front. We're just gonna have to sit it in the back and let it level up from the experience share for a little while. Wow, you lived that. Low Punny, please be better. Better yet, let me Mega Evolve you. Oh, do you die to hail here? Unfortunate. Like a bite isn't getting any experience! I'm gonna go ahead and use a revive on it, because I can. You know what I still haven't done? Bought healing items, like I've said I should, like 47. Oh, I have 17 revives. Why am I not using these? <laughs> when did I buy revives? Mega Ambi Palm, but it's Doc Ock. I'm down for that. Hey, here's a concept more Mega Pokemon. I'm a marketing genius. Did you use Kinesis on me? I hate you. Screw your spoon. What else you got? You got one more Pokemon? Hey, level 46. I haven't actively used that thing in ages. Isn't the Ice Beam TM, like, right up here? Do I even need to bother going and buying Ice Beam? Isn't it, like, right over here to the right? I thought. Uh, put DK up front. I like DK. K 
catch these hands, fool. Ba -na 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 -na. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Anytime will be fun. Oh, do you need rock climb to get to ice beam? I thought you could just walk over here and get it. Yeah, I like regional variants too, because they're basically Delta Pokemon. I will admit Pokemon, like official Pokemon, has not done very well with regional variants. A lot of them are like lame and forgettable. They're not like different enough, but like the Delta Pokemon that they did in Pokemon Insurgents, more regional variants like that where they go hard with them. I feel like Pokemon's regional variants make very small changes, but uh, when you get Snow Run, can you catch it somewhere before the route? Uh, you can go to the underground in Celestic and there's a nice place that you can get to. You just have to be able to reach Celestic. But, uh... What was I saying? The regional Pokemon, some of them are cool, but they don't go hard enough. They need to go harder with regional Pokemon and they need to bring back Megas. Both of those things would be great. be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge. You a Team Rocket Grunt? That is the way of a trainer. Best regional variant design? I'm trying to remember them all. Ninetales and Sand Slash are pretty good. I think, uh... Pretty sure that the Galarian Rapidash is pretty awesome, but I haven't seen it much. It's like very, it is very much a fairy type Pokemon. It's pretty cool. gotta like look up a picture of some of them need like a list of them all I can't find like a list of them ah here we go Some of them are like straight up bad, like Raticates is fine, Alolan Raichu is kinda dumb, Alolan Dugtrio is dumb, Alolan Persian is an affront on society, Alolan Grimer is bad, Alolan Muck is fine, Alolan Marowak is pretty sick, I like Alolan Marowak. Galarian Weezing is funny. Oh yeah, here's a picture of Galarian Rapidash I'm looking at, Galarian Rapidash is good, so is Ponyta. Zigzagoon is fine, Linoon is fine. Glarian Darmanitan is, eh. It's all right. I think its head is a little stupid. I think that's about it. All right, I need to pay attention to the game I'm actually playing. We got like 10 minutes left in stream. I wanna get to snow point before we wrap up today. Doug Dimidome, or Dimsdale Dimidome. But anyways, like, go look up Delta Pokemon from Pokemon Insurgents. There are a lot of Delta Pokemon in Insurgents that are just like, they're, they're better than some of just like the normal Pokemon in Pokemon, let alone regional variants. Like, go look up Delta Hydreigon. It's one of the best Pokemon ever. I love Delta Hydreigon, it is so awesome. Oh yeah, the Galarian birds. I do not like Galarian Articuno. I think Galarian Articuno is kind of lame, but Galarian Moltres and Galarian Zapdos are awesome. Galarian Moltres uh, especially. Like Galarian Moltres is one of the coolest Pokemon. It's very up there. I love its design and color. Oh my goodness, a fire type? Since when? Bam, bam, bam. Hey, I have Earthquake. And I'm speed plus nature. Get lost. Man, that was worth like no experience. Probably because I'm so much higher level. 
anyways, yeah. Pokemon, like, needs to go harder on the regional variants. Are you a novice or are you capable? I feel like a lot of their regional different Pokemon, there are too many of them that really aren't that different. Whereas if you look at the Delta Pokemon, like in Pokemon Insurgents, pretty much every Delta is like, it's fairly different. Like some of them even wildly different. Need more stuff like that. Catch these hands. Later, loser. Imagine if they replaced normal Ponyton Rapidash with the Galarian forms in this game. Yeah, imagine if there were no fire types unless you picked Chimchar. It's pretty wild. Heal me up. Oh, do I have to interact with the bed to heal? I thought I'd talk to you. Oh, there we go. Bum, 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 bum. Wild Pokemon? You can find Metatite here? Okay. Interesting. It's hailing! Oh no! Goodbye. Really? Oh no. Don't get evasion or speed, please. Anything else. I hate everything. Oh, you die in two turns to hail anyway, okay. I would rather hit you with a Night Slash. Did Psyching Up get rid of your Evasion Up? I don't know how Psych Up works in terms of that. What happens if you boost your own stats and then you Psych Up? Anything? Okay, this is the place you can do the worst thing known to man, trade Metacham for Haunter. Oh yeah, and the Haunter has an Everstone, yeah. Honestly, one of the funniest things in Pokemon history. Remember back when the Pokemon devs used to have fun when they made stuff instead of just trying to make money? Those were the days. I always battle for keeps. This is no drill. He's got a mime! Stop him! It's hailing. Uh, hey, cross poison. Bye, Mr. Mime. Hey. Man, low punny is fast. What the heck, dude? Machoke. I got a bird. All right, you and your stupid biceps are about to get aerial aced. Please give me Brave Bird already. I don't think you get Brave Bird until like level 50 something, 52 maybe. It's pretty up there. I mean, we're actually almost there, so whatever. Volkner's Luxray is like level 49, right? My Pokemon are almost at the right level to fight Volkner, and I haven't even fought Candace yet. And after we beat Candace, we have to go through the Galactic Building and go up to Spear Pillar. I'm gonna have like all level 50 Pokemon by the time I get to Sunny Shore. Except maybe my Gabite. My Gabite is going to solo that entire gym, except for Octillery, the strongest electric type Pokemon. Hey, level 46. You sure won't have to grind for the Elite Four? Yeah, that's fair. Gen 4 does have, like, a really up there Elite Four, don't they? Cynthia's, like, level 66 Garchomp. Like, there's a major jump from Volkner to Cynthia. More so than the average Elite Four. This cold is but nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. I'm gonna light you on fire. Bring it on, Dalton. Aaron starts off with a level 59 Grave Beyond, if I remember correctly. My goodness, that is such a jump. It's like a 10 level jump just to have gone through Victory Road. It 
it's a bit... Just a bit much. It's mostly that Cynthia's Garchomp is 66, though. That's like a major leap. What are the other... Someone in chat, look it up for me. What are the other differences between the 8th Gym Leader's Ace and the Pokemon League Champion's Ace in the other Pokemon games? What's the difference? Cynthia is level 66, right? I think in Platinum, they put her down to 62. But in Diamond and Pearl, she's 66, and Volkner is 49. That's a 17-level difference. What is it for the other, uh... 8th Gym Leaders and then the Champions of their region? Hey, guess who doesn't have an Electric-type or an Electric-type move? It's me. Imagine having electric type moves, could not be me. None of the Elite Four use Pokemon that are weak to electric specifically, so it's fine. Lance is 50 and Claire is 41. All right, nice nine level difference between Claire and Lance in Gen 2. Literally almost half of the difference between Voltner and Cynthia. Why do you have a Hippopotas up here? This is like reckless endangerment of a Pokemon. You're gonna get this thing killed. Blue is 63 and Giovanni is 50. All right, 13, that's, that's closer to what Cynthia's is. That's a little high. What's Gen 3? What's the difference between Wallace and Steven? You don't need Slash. You have Iron Tail. Wallace 46, Steven is 59. Alright, about a 13 level difference. That's closer to Cynthia's gap than I thought, but Cynthia's is still the most egregious at like 17. Isn't Rock Climb like right over here somewhere that we need to get? Not right here. Drayden is 43 and in is 51 in black and white one. Eight level difference. What level is, uh, Getsus' Hydreigon? Is it 54? That's an 11 level difference. Because in and, uh... In and Getsus are both kind of like the final battle of black and white one. Hey, get cross poisoned. Oh, I'm paralyzed. I should probably switch you for someone else. Marlin is 51 and Iris is 59 in black and white too. 8 level difference. Alright, yeah. Yeah, I guess this is 52 or 54. I don't remember which. I think he's 50. I think his Hydrogen is 54. You really only had a Snowbird, huh? Don't mind me. Just passing through. It's a lot of snow. A bottle of iron. Those are really called bottles, huh? Ah, oh, joy, hail. Wolfric is 59 and Diantha is 68. Nine level difference. Hey, there's Rock Climb. Thank you. All right. I wanted to get to Snowpoint City, but it's time to wrap up for today. That's why I avoided a couple of battles there. Hi, do you heal as well? Person, what a sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. Oh, spell tag. Who cares? It's only the one down low that heals, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here for today. I spent so much time on that gibble. We would have been through, gotten through Snowpoint's gym if I hadn't, but whatever. It's fine. When we come back next time, we'll definitely finish like all the way through Spear Pillar. We'll probably even beat Volkner next time. Oh my goodness, stretch, because after Spear Pillar, you just go, like, straight to Sunny Shore. There's, like, a small route in between, but then you get to Sunny Shore, beat Volkner, and then it's straight up to the Elite Four. I don't think we'll make it to the Elite Four next time, but we'll definitely at least beat Volkner. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. For those of you watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. If you want to catch live, link my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. And until next time, farewell.